Non-selective beta blockers are a type of medicine that lowers blood pressure. Some people take them if they have high blood pressure or if they need to regulate their heart rate. In this video, you'll learn how non-selective beta blockers can help when you have cirrhosis or scarring in the liver. In a healthy liver, blood flows in through the portal vein like water from a hose into a sponge. But imagine the sponge is hard like a rock. Then water can't flow through the hose as easily and pressure builds. Just like with the hose and the rock, pressure in the portal vein builds when the liver gets scarred and hard. This is called portal hypertension. When the pressure gets too high, it can back up and make the veins swell around your stomach and esophagus. These swollen veins are called varices, and if they swell too much, they break open and bleed. That's called variceal bleeding. Non-selective beta blockers work by slowing down your heart rate. This slows down the blood flowing through your portal vein and lowers the pressure inside of it. So, non-selective beta blockers help prevent variceal bleeding. They can also help lower the chance of other problems caused by cirrhosis. It's important to notice how you're feeling and know about the side effects when you take non-selective beta blockers. Low blood pressure and heart rate can make you feel dizzy or lightheaded, and this can lead to falls. When you're lying down or sitting, get up slowly and take a minute before you begin walking. When you take this type of medicine, you could also feel more tired or short of breath. You might notice your hands and feet get cold, and some people may have trouble getting or keeping an erection. These side effects are usually worse during the first few days and get better as your body gets used to the medicine. If your prescribed dose is only once a day, try taking it at bedtime to see if that helps with your side effects. Take this medicine at the same time every day. If you miss a dose, don't take two doses to make up for it. Instead, take your missed dose as soon as you remember or just take your next dose on schedule. Talk to your pharmacist if you have questions about taking your medicine. Check your blood pressure and heart rate two or three times a week after you've been resting for five minutes or longer. Keep track of the readings in a notebook or a smartphone app and review them with your healthcare team. Tell your healthcare team right away if your heart rate is under 50 beats a minute or if the first number of your blood pressure reading is less than 90. Also tell them if you're really dizzy, short of breath, or concerned about any medication side effects. Remember, your healthcare team is here to support you. Reach out to them if you have questions. To learn more, visit cirrhosiscare.ca or myhealth.alberta.ca.